Thank you for being here in business class. This edition is going to be important for us because we are opening to all of you world for us and new technology and new expansion teams. So thank you for being with us. It's so beautiful to be back in business class and very happy to address all the audience again. Thank you. Uh, for us, it's important to know what is the core or of your philosophy? The core of our philosophy is that it is possible for every human being to live without suffering. It is possible for every human being to live in profound states of consciousness where there is no separation, no conflict, no division, and thereby impacting one's life, one's relationship, uh, one's impact in the world, and also impacting the world's consciousness. Talking about this, what is the concept of conscience or illumination that it, we, we all hear about it? Yeah. So we, we lead seekers or we lead people through uh, five stages leading up to being a compassionate, enlightened being. The first stage is being conscious, second stage is being aware, third stage is with the heart comes alive, fourth stage is awakening, fifth and the final stage is being a compassionate, enlightened being. So we, we teach people at every level, so it should not be like, oh me and enlightenment is very far, no. We make it very palpable, we'll make, we make it very applicable, we bring it to their lives. For us, enlightenment is not just for few people who are there living in the uh, living in the forest as hermits, but it is for people who are in the normal walks of life. Because when you are enlightened, you can create such a huge impact, and we feel that's what the world needs today. So we lead people through these five stages, and anyone in any part of the world can kind of fit in and learn and grow in their consciousness. Talking about this, we know that. Uh, the main ECAM is in India. Yes. Uh, why is it so important that it, it will be in India? Because you are bringing the word to all the world. The ECAM, the physical ECAM as such is in India. But the idea of ECAM and oneness is spread across so many countries in the world. We are people coming from every religion, every culture, every lifestyle, every class of beings, all flock to this learning and to this experience of ACAM. Why ACAM from India? Why ACAM in India? See, it's a land of enlightenment. When the rest of the world have been uh, pondering on different questions, like the Chinese were pondering on harmony, yin and yang, um, different uh, parts of the world pondered on different questions. The people, the ancient people of India pondered on one question, who am I? Okay, who am I is that question that leads up to enlightenment. They have been, they have been the mystics, there have been mystics and the sages who have worked on moving into those profound states of consciousness and they have kind of shown that humanity does not need to live in problems and chaos and in suffering alone. There is a different experience of life possible. And that's a birthplace of enlightenment, I would say. And that is where ACOM is in India. For Mexico, it's an honor that you be here right now. But they told you're going to bring a lot, uh, another program that is yes. the FOA. Can yes. you talk about Yeah. Field of awakening is where I lead uh, people through a four day intense journey and push them into states of awakening. Push them into states beyond the mind, beyond the past and the future, to be present, to be uh, in bliss, to be in communion with the divine, to be in ex experience stillness with it, and to experience also states of oneness at times. So to kind of push you beyond the mind into this opening in consciousness, and it's a beautiful experience as such. People immerse in that experience. People soak in that experience. But it just doesn't limit there. Your inner world and the external world are intricately connected. And what happens here has a direct impact on the world outside. So when your inner world moves into profound awakened states, uh, what it means is you have an incredible ability to change your life, 
change the flow of events, change the experience of life, change the people whom you meet, change, um, change in terms of ability to nurture love in your relationships, change in terms of being an incredible parent to sculpt the inner experience of your child and also change in terms of your health. So your state is not just limited to your inner experience, it actually impacts your life. And each and every participant will feel incredibly powerful, empowered through their state of being. And uh, then life opens up, that is all the um, knots and bottlenecks and obstacles and challenges just free up, allowing one to have a very great experience of life. Uh, this poem yes. oh, uh, is for everybody. Uh, everybody. Every people wants to, to yes. grow, to go to elimination. Yeah. Where they can show, where they can find something more information or uh, uh, information on the field of awakening. What are the what is the state that you will experience? What it leads to? Uh, it is available in our website. You can check it out. It could be kids. A woman, yes. man, yeah. everybody. everybody, any religion. <laughs> it's important for me to know that. that yeah, is it is what we're talking about is not a religion. Yeah, of course, you'll have profound experiences of the divine. Uh, what we're talking about is not adhering to a particular code or a particular faith or a particular religion. What we're talking about is inner freedom, uh, empowerment and uh, leading your life from that state. So you can be 13 years old, we have children as young as 13 year old participate in the field of awakening. Uh, you can belong to any religion, you could be a man, you could be a woman, you could be old, you could be young. You can still be part of the field of awakening. And after this process, is for, for living a life with a illumination mm -hmm. and conscience. And how do you manage live in this war and this capitalist world with this attachment also and, and be in the path? See, to, uh, to believe that you, know, you need to be out of this world in order to, I mean, out of this normal material world in order to experience that state, it's not really true. Uh, what we bring from ACOM is always material world and spiritual world has been separate. Uh, what we bring from ACOM is the coming together of both. We believe and we see and we have seen the experiences in people, millions of people who follow the path of ACOM. As their state transforms, as they move into the profound states of unperturbed calm, great clarity emerges, right response emerges. They, they can see themselves building their life to greatness rather than being seen as being helpless or at the receiving end of life. So you really should not be separating the material world and the spiritual world. You can be incredibly spiritual. You can be in that state of unperturbed calm, um, which you call as a sthita pregnya, and still lead your life with such incredible seeing and clarity. Do you think that is important that it apply this spiritual world to politicians, business, <coughs> What do you think that is going to change if yes. our leaders in every, every sphere and camp do it? See, if you look at the problems of the world, it emerges from consciousness of people, scores and scores of population living in separation and division and conflict and in suffering. And imagine leaders lead from a state of oneness, free of separation, free of division, free of conflict then the actions would be directed towards creating a holistic world which is harmonious for everybody. Leaders need to transform in order to create a transformed world. Do you think that leaders are born or are made? See, leadership is, as such, it's not a question of the position that you hold. It is basically, for us, a true leader is somebody who can impact lives. So you can measure leadership based off on the radius of impact that you can create. Radius of positive impact in the lives of people is what makes you a leader, not the position. So if you can move into states beyond the suffering, beyond division, beyond conflict, then everyone can be a leader. For me personally, uh, is that you are a, a woman in, in, in a power with a word, with an impact. Mm -hmm. What do you think that the, all the, the women in the world need to do to have or, or try to be more in, in the sphere, in the path? 
women I see as incredible uh, beings, incredible in terms of the power to inspire, the power to create, to nourish, to nurture, to hold, to mother, uh, to remove darkness and uh, to kind of bring life to the environment. I see women as being incredibly powerful. It will be great for every woman just not to identify oneself as just the external beauty that one is striving. Uh, it will be great if you can nurture the other qualities of being a woman. Then each and every woman can, can find a voice, uh, can find uh, a great place in this world. Well, Ed, do you have any word to Mexico? We are having troubles right now with the biomes yeah. and Mr. Do you, I, I will want that you say something to make hope to our country. See, um, Krishna Ji just, Sri Krishna Ji just mentioned about how beautiful a country you are in terms of your resilience and in terms of your history, your culture, and your so many aspects of me, or every Mexican over here. But what we are hearing more and more is about the depression, the anxiety and uh, the loneliness which the young children are facing. And it is possible for every one of you to get out of the space and help every Mexican over here to live in a very, uh, very beautiful state of peace and calm. I would actually voice out to every mother who's over here or every father who's over here or grandparents. I'm saying that if their state changes, you'll be able to impact the lives of so many young people. And uh, it is important that we do it right now so that we can actually uh, help them out of their anxiety and depression. Otherwise, it's going to be the next epidemic over here. That's a, a good stuff because you you always talk that the impact it comes from one person to all the family yes. and that's go, is common with the friends yes and the importance that only one person start to this change yes. of, of mind to to bring to all the the community right yes see the when one person in the family experiences a profound awakening in consciousness that consciousness impacts the next and it impacts others. Especially if you're a parent, it impacts the children so much. And if you're able to create a positive impact on your children, please know that you are saving generations, generations from, from suffering. So it is very important to take responsibility. And it'll be great. We have couples coming and coming together for this journey everywhere in the world. They experience such incredible relationships, such joy in being together, such appreciation for each and each other in their lives. That's great. But somebody has to start. Yeah. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste. Wonderful Beautiful seeing much. you. Thank you Wonderful so much. I hope you see you in April. Yes, absolutely. <laughs>